So this question we're going to look at factor and remainder theorem because we are given some information about this function. It's got a factor of x minus 1 and leaves a remainder of 15 when I divide it by x plus 2. And again, we're going to have no synthetic division here. We're just going to do this using it the way the IB likes to do it. And it's like this. First of all, I'm going to put in x equals 1. So I'm putting in that root from the factor, x equals 1. So when I put x equals 1 into that fx, I get 1 cubed times 2 plus 1 squared times a plus 1b plus 15. And because it's a factor, it equals 0. So that's a plus b equals negative 17. So I've got two unknowns. So obviously this is a simultaneous equation. So now I'm going to substitute in x equals from the x plus 2, I'm going to make x equal to negative 2. And so this time I'm going to have negative 8 times 2 when I cube it. I'm going to have 4a uh, and take away 2b, add 15. This time, importantly, it's not equal to 0. It, equals, it gives me a remainder of this 15 here. So let's just tidy that up, and we've got 4a minus 2b equals 16. We can divide everything through by 2, so we get 2a minus b equals 8. So we've got our two equations with our two unknowns, and that's a very, very simple simultaneous equation. We can just add those together to give me 3a equals negative 9, so a negative 3, and if we go through that, either equation, we get b as negative 14. So fairly straightforward question that you could get at IB on factor and remainder theorem with simultaneous equations.